What's up everyone? This is the Raw Truth. Coming back with part two. And I want to keep that uh get that dancing around. See, like I was saying in part one, if a person is not shameful and refuse to be shameful and sorrowful, when you question them, you ever notice when you question them on a behavior that they dance around? Why? Because when, when a person is not shameful, automatically they have to have a defense mechanism for logic. <laughs> it happens all the time. <clears throat> defense mechanism for logic. Because see, if I absorb and take everything in that you're saying, and you are to totally, totally right, then why would I... Or anybody put up a defense mechanism for logic. Because you don't want to be right. You, you, you see what I'm saying? And that's why. You know, another reason why. You know you can't trust. Whores. And simps. You can't trust them. You can't trust them at all. Because the only thing that they're going to do is lead you to your own destruction. Case in point, remember I brought up 74% of homes fatherless? And remember I keep, um, uh, I'm a champion of letting folks know that it's only a minority of men who are fucking the vast majority of black women. And if you're a small minority of men who are fucking the vast majority of black women, that means what? What does that mean? It means a small minority of men can't be trusted and the vast majority of black women can't be trusted. So we have a fucking problem here. We have a fucking problem here. And if you can't be trusted, then what the why the fuck people should trust your advice? <clears throat> you have two kids, three kids, four kids, all the way up to 15 kids. By six or seven different niggas. I'm supposed to trust you. You in your advice for. Give me a reason. It's like Luther Vandross said. Give me the reason to want you now. Give me a reason. How about you simp. You claim that you love black women. And you're the Mac daddy. But yet. <laughs> but yet. You're sleeping with 17 or 18 women. But never ever settle down to actually love a woman. And I'm supposed to take your advice for, you know, tell me something. And, and, and it amazes me. <laughs> it amazes me that, you know, people actually think that they making co common sense when they fucking ain't saying shit. How the fuck you sit up there and say something for five hours and not make one, not one single point? How the fuck it happens? But it fucking does, and it's it, it, it <laughs> and it it makes me laugh like crazy. It's like damn, this nigga un this nigga and this bitch un this. Talk some crazy shit. They talk like crazy, and and they're rambling on and on and on and on. And in my head, I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking about all right. Make a point. Make a point. Make a point. Make a point. But they never said shit about it. Then he's like, all right, I'm gonna try to discuss it. You know, we're talking about relationship, right? Okay. Well, if that's the case, and if you're saying that you know um, all about relationships, why do you have so many kids by so many different men? And how come none of those men stayed with you? How come? See, don't come at me and try to try to make me try to do your best to make me feel bad and say, "Oh, I got mother's issues," or "Or I have hate in my heart." You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like folks have that really done that, done that to me, and I'm sure that folks have also done it to y'all. And I'm talking about the real black men and the real black women 
who really is about her people. Isn't it something how the ones who who's supposed to be a fucking shame for what they're doing is out there to shame you? Their black asses should be ashamed of what they're doing, but they're fucking want to try to shame you because they feel like shit. And they look like shit. And every time they wake up in the fucking morning, they know that they ain't shit. And so they look for motherfuckers like us who have, who are trying to get ourselves together and trying to maintain and stabilize ourselves. I like that. Stabilize ourselves. And they want to look at us and then look and say that we ain't shit. That's why they have to use things, like I said before, over and over and over. They have to use things to validate themselves. They have to use be so materialistic to validate themselves. They had to get the best car, go broke getting the best car. Just to validate themselves. Because they feel like shit because they're not fucking confident. And these are the same motherfuckers who are out there giving advice and act like that they know something when they don't know a damn thing. I just look, I just sit back and just listen to all these motherfuckers who want to sit up there and talk about, oh, I, I need a man and the man has to be this. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, I'm just looking for a woman just to settle down with. Do you question that motherfucker simp? All right, what do you mean? What do you mean by settling down? You know, you're looking for a woman to settle down. Explain to me what that means. You no, know, to settle down. No, just to pick his head. Well, you know, I just want to take care of her. I just want to wine and dine her, give her the finest things in life. Okay. You want to wine and dine her. You want to take her out. You want to give her the finer things in life. What is the finer things in life? Well, you you know, me, me and my boys, you know, we always talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all you know I'm saying? We always talking about it. And we, and we know that, you know, we have to take care of our woman because our woman is Mother Earth. And, 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 and she needs to be handled to a delicate. And we, we have to make sure that, you know, we have to get this, you know what I'm saying? We have to do this, you know what I'm saying? And I'm listening. I'm like, okay. He mentions his... The black woman is Mother Earth, okay? He mentions it that we must provide, okay? And he also mentions it that, you know, we should handle her delicately because she is a woman. Sounds good, but we have a problem. Because, see, what the simp didn't say is, okay, what if she messes up? How are you going to correct her? I asked him. I asked him this question. How are you going to correct her? Well, you know, we all going to mess up, you know, but, you know, I don't control her. That's why you don't take advice from fucking simps. What the fuck you mean you don't control her? And the next thing you know it, whatever, what are people going to be saying? Oh, you don't control your woman. I ain't saying smack the shit out of her. I ain't saying fuck her up. Don't do that because that shit ain't cool. I'm saying in order for you to be a real man, you got to learn how to control the woman. And a woman has to learn how to be submissive. Remember that song? It takes two to make a thing go right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It takes two to make it out of sight. Well, if it takes two to make a motherfucking thing go motherfucking right, then that means it takes the, takes the man to correct the woman to control the woman and it also takes the woman to shut the fuck up listen and submit see every time these whores and these sims talk about relationship they never ever talk about discipline they never ever talk about uh, accountability they never ever talk about responsibility they never ever talk about being submissive they never ever talk about being in control they never ever talk about who is the head see when you don't have this have these entities in a conversation when it comes up when it comes to talk about a relationship everything may sound good but it all go to shit in a hay basket the shit will hit the fans why because we have no fucking structure
And that's why these whores and these simps get along so well is because there's no fucking structure. And when you don't have a fucking structure, who is it going to benefit the most? Sure ain't you, black ass man. Huh, simps? Sure ain't you. It ain't going to benefit you. It's going to benefit her. Why? Because, see, because you are a simp, you are going to conform yourself to her like crazy. You're going to make sure that you keep her happy. And you know what? She's going to make your, make sure she keep your dumb ass happy. And what's, and what's going to happen? That pussy is going to become the weapon. And you think you, she, and you think you in bed being a man, being fucked. And knowing that you're just a piece of shit nigga. She got you because you have no structure. Because you weren't man enough to stand up to have structure. Because see, real men, you you know what's funny? When real men do stand up, and the raw truth has already stood up. They, I, I, I remain standing. As a matter of fact, I had a video of that. Black man, real black man, remain standing. Go ahead, check, check my archives out. See, when you're a real black man... <clears throat> Bitches and whores will exit away from you. That's why simps always get the fucking fucking woman because he's only fucking whores. Let you know that we got way more whores than we have simps. Go figure that. Go figure that. Then, then they got. Then they always want to get mad. You know, you ever, you ever uh, start whooping their asses and logic and stuff, and then you see them get mad, and they're only. And you know what? You got to understand. I realized something. They're not really getting mad at you. It's just you are the one that they can take it out on because you really care about them, and and, and they don't care about themselves. Now I'll give you a great a perfect example. Majority of times when folks get mad and angry, they take it out on the people that they love because they can't do that. The people that they don't love because they know deep down inside they don't trust that motherfucker because they don't even trust their motherfucking self. So how the fuck are they trusting you? Because you at least have the nerve, have the balls or have the clit to stir it the fuck up. Oh shit. <laughs> Wow! I should make shirts on that shit. For the men have the balls to stand the fuck up, or for women have the clits to stand the fuck up. And my boy Tommy Sotomayor says, "Son of a bitch." <laughs> but yeah, whenever you are a real man and you are a real woman, simps can't deal with. Understand, black woman, the ones who are real women, simps can't deal with you. I'm going to tell you why. Oh, this is good. I, I'm going to tell you why simps can't not deal with a real woman. I'm going to tell you why. Because when a simps gets, <clears throat> tries to be with a real woman, the real woman will know that he's not a leader. The real woman will know that, you know, when problem situation comes, he can't be quoting that conscious shit or that hotep crap. You know, he, he, he a real woman will know that you know that he can't even make decisions. Real woman won't be able to come to you and ask, "Baby, what do you think?" Because she's a respecting your headship and the headship you sons don't have. So you know, when I'm doing this video, you know, and I don't want to be long with it, but um. We should, we should never trust whores and simps because they're not right in their heads themselves. And there's a whole lot of hypocrisy there. And like I said, I love when black women who are whores want to use that God shit with me. You know, God, God said for, for me to come as I am. But yet when a real man stepped to you, he couldn't come as a real man. He had to come as something else, right? That's why you rejected that real man, huh? Because he came at you as a real man. So wait a minute, bitch. 
He can't come at you as a real man, but your God said for you to come the way you are. Right. Now you see why I did series and tore the two dollar whorehouse you call church up? Because the church and Christianity ain't shit. Yeah, you wanna get mad? I don't give a fuck. You a subscriber and don't like what I'm saying? Unsubscribe. Christianity sucks. Christianity is fucked up. Since you wanna get mad, I don't give a damn. It's not my fault you ain't man enough. <laughs> You just getting rewarded, uh, rewarded pussy for being a no good nigga. It ain't my fault. <laughs> I ain't got to deal with the headaches you got to deal with. Well, I get more pussy than you. Yeah, but you get more headaches than I. How about that, Sims? You crying. <laughs> After you want to get your manhood back and you want to stand the fuck up and you, and you do something stupid and your black ass is sitting in prison. Cause she didn't love your fucking ass anyway. Because you was uh, you, cause you ain't was never a fucking leader. <laughs> Come on back. I'll be back.